Kuri, where this year's budget is about 3.3 trillion shillings. To finance the budget, the National Treasury has proposed that the Kenya Revenue Authority collect 2.1 trillion shillings, while 300 billion shillings is to be raised through appropriation in aid, 47 billion shillings from grants, and borrow the remaining 846.1 billion shillings. Here is our reporter, Regina Manyara, with the details. In the current financial year, the Kenya Revenue Authority has been tasked with collecting 1.8 trillion shillings. In this year's budget, the National Treasury is proposing to increase the tax collections target on the Kenya Revenue Authority by 300 billion shillings. The National Treasury expects that in the next financial year that begins in July, the Kenya Revenue Authority would collect 2.1 trillion shillings. On paper, it looks good, but tax and economic experts think this would be an uphill task for the Kenya Revenue Authority given that this is an election year, as well as the impact of high fuel prices, the Russia-Ukraine war, high crude oil prices, as well as the COVID-19 pandemic that has disrupted the global supply chain and affected key sectors of the economy. Looking at part of the effects that the country is going through right now, either through the drought, the imports, uh, the, the foreign exchange is going out of hand. I think there's an estimate that we are going to hit a, around 130 Kenya shillings to the dollar. That is something that is uh, alarming because it will make our imports very, very expensive. This is despite the recovery that has been reported in some sectors, such as the financial services sector, that has seen banks reporting supernormal profits and the hospitality industry, whose figures have recovered to pre-COVID levels. So 2022, we have a big opportunity, and we can see that in our forward bookings, um, particularly from June onwards. Um, but again, it's not that we've recovered necessarily. Uh, the world isn't back to normal. The National Treasury has also indicated that the government plans to raise 300 billion shillings from the appropriation in aid, which is cash raised by public entities through rendering services to the public. In addition, the government expects 47 billion shillings in grants to finance the budget. However, this leaves a deficit of 846.1 billion shillings, which the government plans to plug by borrowing 275.9 billion from the external market and 570.2 billion shillings locally. With regard to the debt, I think there is no doubt that uh, our debt will need to be restructured. That is, uh, from all the indicators we are looking at, to raise the sort of funds required for debts that are actually maturing now, there is going to be need to restructure the debts and, and to talk to the various lenders about this. The National Treasury projects that the fiscal deficit inclusive of grants would be at 846.1 billion shillings, which is 6% of GDP in this year's budget. Regina Manyara reporting for Prime Edition.